Oh my god, it's total gridlock up here. It's kerbals flying everywhere. Hello guys, I'm Orbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest, series two, part two, universe in a box. Yes, we'll get into that in this episode, but first off, let's uh, start this off. Anyway, first off, we're going to launch, we're going to build our Kerbal Space Station. I forgot what I called it now. And, oh yeah, things go wrong first. <laughs> See, Zane has misstaged the rocket. No, he hasn't misstaged it. I think the booster has hit the tank at the bottom, and as with everything Kerbal, it explodes spontaneously, even if it's tapped by Kerbal. So, yeah, the things happen. Anyway, what I decided here is, can we save him? Can we save him? Well, I don't care about the Kerbal. I want to save the station core. This is going to be the core station part. And the way I built this was two tanks together side by side and rotate and use the offset tool so they clip in each other and then put docking ports on either side and yes we saved the station awesome stuff see Zane you are an awesome pilot anyway let's get him back on the launch pad and, uh, and don't mess this up this time well obviously can't our engineers worked out a way so that he can't mess that up he was turning the rocket too quickly mech chip was actually and I'm using mech chip still <laughs> but yeah, you can see the engineers decided let's get those boosters well away from the rocket and in fact they go faster than the rocket when they fire off. And you see that blue dot? We'll get into that later. But let's get into the comments as I normally do from Connor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 1. First comment. <laughs> I love your videos and first like. Also, are all the Kerbals from the last series still alive? What do you have to have your Kerbal remade? Wait, are Kerbals devolving now? At first they didn't even communicate they didn't need communication, but now they do. What is this madness? One day they might need to eat food, drink water, and breathe oxygen. Well, I'm assuming they breathe something because they do have a pressure suit on when they're going to EVA. However, there is a theory that they are plants or maybe mushrooms. They're the fun guy. <laughs> At least I spoke to someone's comment there, damn it. <laughs> right, let's do your orbit this. We've got the station core in orbit, a 300 kilometer circular orbit, and we almost lost control there. So let's get communications back up and the orbit. Next comment is from Aldilon Tolemonde. Hey Orbiter, can I be an engineer in the new series please? Yes, and don't worry Connor, you'll be added as a Kerbal if you're not already on the list. I keep a spreadsheet, I copied people who weren't on missions from the last spreadsheet from the last Kerbal quest series into this one. And that is, you know, ker those Kerbals will go on missions. However, I'm changing the progression of the of this series. You know, first off, we put communication satellites up into a geostationary orbit. Next up, we um, put a space station in orbit. Anyway, from Odeon Tolomander, yeah, said, yes, I'll add you Kerbal, but don't forget, your Kerbals will not be in the next episode, because I'm putting one episode delay on it, just because it's, you know, just in case people ask later on in the comments, and I have to add them a bit late, and they'll be a bit late for that episode then. So that's why we've got delay. Anyway, we got Mason Kerman, Kuba Mag, Lippo842, and J Boy Kerman. They're going to be going in the first arm of the space station. I decided not to do a traditional space station like the International Space Station. Sort of not a circular one either, but arms jutting out from the side, as we'll see when this docks. Because it looks like a weird fairing on it. Yes, there you can see it now. I had problems with this one as well, watching up. Because I didn't realize the top tank uh, mass is offset slightly because it's for a space plane or something where the weight would be more on the bottom and I kept on having trouble though, because the because the weight change <laughs> well, it's another comment from the Brazilian hacker hi orbit I love your videos and can you make me a pilot please and for comment yes if you're not on the list and you're not already credible created you shall be added as a pilot. Don't forget, in this version, pilots are the only ones who can pilot vessels. So not only engineers can engineer stuff, pilots can pilot that the engineers can't pilot stuff unless there's a control probe on there. Or at least pilot it properly. So yeah, keep that in mind. I think anyway, this is career not this is not career mode. 
This is, um, uh, there's a name for it, the sandbox mode. That's the, that's what it's called, yes. Alright, from Joan Summer. Ooh, fifth comment. Yay, new Kerbal Quest, yes. And are you in the season? If not, then I will add you, so don't worry, Joe. Jo, jo, Joan Summer. <laughs> Keep on saying your name wrong. From VIP 2003. Can I be Kerbal? I don't care where I go. Yes, you can be. And Red M. Oi, meet. I have been watching your videos ever since I bought KSP, and I love them, so I was wondering if I could be a Kerbal in your series. I don't care where my jo what job my Kerbal does. Uh, anywhere is fine. All right, we need someone for to, to clean out the toilets. Yes, you, you'll do, I think. <laughs> no, I think I'll add you, yeah. I'll... Choose your random designation, but we will be going to Minmus next episode, so keep that in mind when you're commenting. But after the next episode, it'll be the man, I think. Just simple landing uh, things, not a load of Kerbals, but we will be bitten bases and space stations around them for in the future. Anyway, Carta Fan YouTube. Can I be a Kerbal? Yes, you can. I want my name to be King Kerman. I want to be cowardly but genius scientist. <laughs> Evil genius. <laughs> and what needs a wheelchair? Okay, a rover. A rover is because they are paralyzed and can't walk. Thanks for reading. No problem. We'll add your Kerbal. We'll make a rover for him to get about on. Not sure we'll send you to, but we will probably need a rover on Minus All the Man some, at some point. From Joe Alberta. With the new season. Do you keep the old Kerbals from the last season? If not, can I go on a mission to the man when you go there? Keep up the great work. No problem. Looks like you're coming in time to go to the man. From Cracker Racer. I think you forgot me in the last... My, me as a Kerbal. I didn't forget. I did add you, but I didn't put you on a mission. Because you think you wanted to send or something. If I remember correctly. Anyway, he says, I commented on the Moho video. And you read my comment in the next video. If you add me, remember, anywhere except a sun landing. Okay, you don't want a sun landing this time. Racer is pronounced race. Okay, ray. So, cracker race. Okay, that's good to know. Right, let's dock the second unit. And who we got here? Two Kerbals this time. Uh, Bellas, and I can't read the other name. Let me get the preview window up. Julian Sort. Two nails. I can't read. I don't know what that's spelled right. <laughs> anyway, Al Jazz Zandaz Zadrazin Znik. <laughs> hey man, how are you? I wanted to ask you if I could, uh, if you could add a mod that can make a planet look like Earth. That would look nice. Then you could make a home in Wales or Corinne. Well, there is a mod to add Earth to the game, but I don't think it adds it a curb in size. That will mess up the save. I can't do it now anyway, because we'll get into that at the end of the episode. The blue dots have something to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll get a bit more into that, I think. Anyway, from Dimitri Olievo. Oli, sorry, Olienyov. Am I the only one who read the title as Geostationary Fatalities? He's talking about the last episode. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mads Razumanze. Raz, Mads, Raz, Razmuzen. Can I be a Kerbal main? <laughs> Maid. Razme or Mads Razmen? <laughs> yes, you can be, don't worry. <laughs> when I can spell it properly. No one here says. I have an idea. Kerbal Quest career mode. I did think about that, however. I that takes a lot of work, a lot of off camera grinding, and I most of the stuff I do I record and put in this these videos, so. Yeah. I was trying to cut down the size of these videos as well, make simpler missions. And I built a whole space station, launching up all like this. I could have launched them all up in one go. But I thought this would be fun. Anyway, we've got Thomas Collingham and Waffle King the Third on this one. <laughs> he must be our chef. <laughs> anyway, let's get into another comment as we're docking this. Zeus Spear, 
Can I be one of your missions? I would love to go to the <laughs> anus of Moho. <laughs> and we could do, we'll have to go back to Mo at some point. However, I don't know if we'll go to the battle of Moho again. However, you know, we will do a Moho mission, but that'll be quite a while away because I want to progress slowly, not extremely fast. Go to the moons first, or Kirby, and then out probably to Duna, perhaps is the next one, and things like that. Anyway, I've decided by your to get a Kerbal out to watch this docking. Okay, let's make sure this docking is coming in. Yeah, you're coming in slowly. Yeah, yeah, quite good. That's good line. And you've docked. Awesome stuff. You've done quite well. He's saying hi to the Kerbal through the window. And he's going to join them through the airlock. Anyway, from Jonathan Toy. Hey, Orbit. I love your vids. Thank you very much. From Jonathan Toy again, make me a Kerbal. You are a Kerbal. What do you want about? Commander Chachi says, Can I be in a mission like Man Landing or something? Please, in the future, obviously, any mission will do. Yes, no problem. Uh, Chubby Cat says, Can I be a Kerbal? Can you name B L Bloke? Yes, you can. And Robo Dragon 222 says, Yay, Kerbal Quest Part 2. Awesome! And he goes on, can I have a Kerbal in the new series? Any mission that could... And could you please make the name the same as my username? Thanks. No problem. And he says, well, I wonder what a Moho Battle looks like. No, too many people on about Moho Battles. Ah, you guys are terrible. From DA, from Dago Lego. You should be a pal and make me a Kerbal. Pal I am then. <laughs> And take me to the South Pole so I can play with the penguins. I was I I can't reply to your comment saying I wonder what Mo um South Pole curb curbing penguins look like. Are they green like the Kerbals or what? I don't know. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I got all the Kerbals out so I could take a screenshot. At least I think I might. I'm not sure if I'll choose this or something else. Try to get Kerbals in shots. Yes, that's why the camera angle is moving around so much. And that's why it was at the beginning of the video. <laughs> anyway, as I'm doing that, let's get into more comments. And we have to get the Kerbals back to bed. From Saturn28. Beautiful video. Hey, Orbit. How about adding me as Saturn? Another planet, I suppose. Yes. I will be an engineer as I can fix rover wheels. Yes, you can. Any engineer cat. Anyway, ever at Dalto. Wait, can't wait, wait, can't wait, can't wait. Mom, where's my popcorn? Can I be a badass Kerbal? Meaning I have an orange suit like Jeb, Bill and Bob and Val. Okay, no problem. Because that allows you in this version, actually. From Bradley Burnett. Can I die in the original save and reemerge in season two as a reincarnation of myself? Yes, you can. You will be reborn. <laughs> Walter Jimenez, add me on any mission. <laughs> no problem. And Jarbahad, woo, season two. I've been looking forward to this so much. I think in the last season, I was left around you in the first station. Yes, I don't think I did much with the station after because it didn't have much fuel and everything. Anyway, good. Some serious signs done, I'm sure. Yes, I suppose you did. Because we've learned a lot from that series. <laughs> Looking forward to all sorts of antics. Yes, you will be. And you'll see why. And if you wonder why I got this design, I'm going to be adding a large part on the bottom of the station. Not now. Don't worry, we'll get to that. But what I want to do is add sort of like futuristic station under the old station. As if you're building better station on top of the old or underneath the old station. <laughs> that is my plan anyway. From Alejandro Macias. Can I be a Kerbal? I've been watching your vids for a while. Keep up the good work. You'll do anything. You will, will you? <laughs> yes, no problem. You'll be added. It's from Seafsturday. Hey, Orbit, I love your vids so much. And the solution about KSP crashing you told me worked. Awesome stuff. That's cool. Anyway, I can't believe it. Anyway. Anyway, I am a big fan of yours and keep up the good work. Greetings from Egypt. Ooh, cool. You've got an Egypt watcher here. And can I be a Kerbal in your new series? 
I want to be an engineer, please. Yes, you will be an engineer. I have a from Jake Killer Kaffer. Hi, Orbeta. Love you, Vids. I discovered you a few days ago and earned a sub instantly. I've seen today's SpaceX launch, or at least when you commented, I suppose. That was awesome landing. A live landing. The video didn't cut out. That was awesome stuff. And he goes on, by the way, could you add me as Janko? Keel cleaner <laughs> for the series. I want to be pilot and be in some kind of space station. No problem. Unfortunately, you won't be in this space station. And if you're wondering what I'm docking here, this is going to be a space tag. And I'm docking on the bottom at the moment because the space station seems to be at no weird orbit. I'll explain a bit about that when we come to the end of the video. Anyway, it's from Hilltop Gamers. Wow, you finally used a shuttle like me in <laughs> the last episode, yeah. Except that was a stock shuttle and I emptied all the fuel from it, which was a bad idea because it made it unstable when you entered the atmosphere. Psycho Games says, Can I be a Kerbal for the next season? Yes, you can. Joseph M, you didn't show the other Kerbals. They actually died and you hit the news in the public. I have no idea what you're on about. The other Kerbals, um, um, yes, they, they, they returned some other way. They didn't go on the shuttle return mission. They used uh, Star Trek transporters, I think. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> From Viper 2C. I could have sworn that I was a better pilot than that. Hopefully my clone will return me to glory. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think it was your fault. It was a misengineering of the space shuttle itself. Anyway, Andrew Miller says, I wonder, could you make a game dart dude Kerbal that just sits on the station forever? I think that'll be fun. Yeah, that's okay. We'll add you a chair. And if you wonder what I'm doing, I used the wrong part as the front of the control from the part of the station. So I saved and reloaded it. So yeah, if you're wondering what, what was going on by there. Mr. Potato says, could I be a Kerbal? I'd be very happy. Also, I'd like to be a pilot or a scientist. Keep a good work. No problem, a potato scientist or potato pilot. I think a potato pilot would be awesome. <laughs> would you have a, pilot, a potato pilot fly you? <laughs> anyway, from Repok, Repok 03, could you make me a Kerbal? Yes. From Crazy Dad 2, Crazy Dad 2. Yes, he says his name twice. Please make me a Kerbal pilot named Crazy and do something insane. But don't kill me. Oh, and please make me commander of a Kerbal pilot. <laughs> I don't think a pilot, a commander of all pilots, but we will make you a pilot. And what we'll do with you, I don't know. And the station's out of control and I'm trying to dock with it. Yes. I work out that docking on those ends will not, it doesn't work. So we'll have to go to the side of the station. If you can see it's rotating in one direction, mostly. So we can dock to that. Come on, you can do it, Cracker Race. Anyway, from the Rocketeer, could you please add me as Scott Burnett? Any mission would be fine. Yep. Jezer Pramozik. Just for shits and giggles, could I be a Kerbal? Call me Mr. P. It sounds like, Mr. P sounds like the sort of like the Mr. T of the Kerbal universe. So yeah, why not? Now let's get this thing docked. Get it back in control. Right, Wolf found, Wolf found digital. Yay, my comments got read out. Feel special, no problem. And got Clorox Beach, yes. You named, can you put the kid with the man bun in? Yes. The walking Raven. Sart says, I th always thought Kerbals would be monocoids, being mushroom people. They're fun guys, that is. Tyler Walker says, he has to be the last version, but he wasn't. Uh, but however, you will be soon, hopefully. Anyway, I haven't got time to read all the comments this time, but I wanted to show you this. Kerbal universe has been expanded. We've got... We've got the bold, To Boldly Go mod, which adds all these stars and planets. We've got 15 planets, apparently, according to the stats. So, hopefully, we'll get you guys there someday. I'll have to install some kind of mod to go warp speed. 
Anyway, sorry I didn't read out all your comments in this episode, but hopefully we'll get back to reading them all in the next one. I'm Obita, trust me, I'm an engineer. Oh my god, it's full of stars!